Hey there, welcome and thank you for getting clean multiplayer alight. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the asset and I'll walk you through it so that you can get up to speed as to how you can use the asset, navigate it and so on. This here is a blank Unity project and you should have created it by clicking on new project, then selecting your editor version and then clicking on one of these three because this asset is compatible with these three. If you've chosen those two, um, I'll show you at the end how to convert the materials to uh, be compatible with those render pipelines. So to begin the process, let's import the asset itself. You can do this like any other asset by going to Window, then Package Manager, and then in Packages, select my assets from here you see this search bar in it type clean multiplayer light and uh, once it pops up because this asset isn't published yet but when it pops up just like this asset you see a download button and after the asset is downloaded you see here an import button so once you've clicked the import button Moments later, you should see this window. It will show you the asset itself. And all you have to do is click import. Once it gets imported, this, uh, this is the editor window. It will pop up and it will tell you how you can set it up. As you can see, here we have a few steps. That The first one is uh, the color space setup. Uh, we can click here to switch it to linear color space this is not required but linear uh, color space always makes the project look better so it's recommended then you have this uh, scene setup this will add the scenes to your build settings uh, which are located in build settings here so if we add them you see them appear and that is this part done to continue importing it, you'll see that you have to install some packages. These are dependent packages like Photon. So if we click on Import Fusion 2, the asset store will appear. And here, if you've never um, used it, you have to add it to your assets, Photon Fusion, the second generation. And once you add it to your assets, you'll be able to go to your Unity editor, click on Window, and then go down to Package Manager. And in here, in Packages, select My Assets. And then once you're in this menu, you can type Photon. And then you see uh, Photon Fusion. And then you can click Import and then import again so that everything gets installed. As you can see, once it's installed, it will say installed and you see this uh, Fusion Hub pop up, which basically says, yeah, you've installed it successfully. And now they would want from you the uh, app ID, which you can get if you open your Photon dashboard. So if we click the button, uh, Photon dashboard should open and if you haven't ever used Photon before, you won't be signed in. So uh, you can just create an account. Uh, and after you've created an account, you should see your dashboard containing your Photon cloud apps. And to make a new app, you just click create a new app. And then from here in the drop down the select photon sdk click fusion which is their newest sdk and you can call it the fusion or whatever it doesn't make a difference once the app is uh, made and created you see that it will pop up and you see this app id if you click on it and copy it and go back to your editor and then paste it and get this green check and it's going to be all good you set up 
photon and now it, your game can communicate with their servers so that now that that's done you might see this uh, text mesh pro window appear if it doesn't appear that's fine if it does like here just click import text mesh pro essentials which will complete another step um, which if it doesn't complete it if the window didn't uh, open then if, if you click on this button you should see how to manually enable it so next step is to install input system and enable it if we click the button and wait a second it will begin installing the input system and once it's installed you see this warning pop-up which is again automatically going to enable the input system if it doesn't pop up then uh, you can you have this message again that tells you how to enable it manually but because it popped up i'll just click yes and this should restart the editor and enable it so as you can see when it restarts it should hopefully say installed and enabled the next step is to install cinemachine this is for the camera so that it can follow your player and then we have post processing this will add some effects like a chromatic aberration anti-aliasing to your game to just make it look as good as possible and once you've done everything this uh, window should appear which just says great job you've done good and uh, you will see that you can now open the menu scene so let's click that now we can close these and you see there it is your multiplayer development beginning but if this all looks pink it's because you're missing the materials and that is because you are probably using urp or hdrp so to fix that all you have to do is go to clean multiplayer light go to environment art materials and now select all of them and uh, if you go to edit i'm not using urp or hdrp so i won't get the setting but if you are you should see a setting called rendering and if you hold on it uh, you should then see materials and then another button which will convert them to uh, srp or urp and now that everything is done this is your game scene we can click play uh, you see you can enter your name uh, then enter will become interactable you also have clean multiplayer pro this is the pro version if you want more features also you see support and tutorials this is from the discord server if you need any help throughout developing uh, using this asset uh, feel free to go there ask you're always welcome and then you have the exit button you also have this avocado shark button which will open the website avocadoshark.com where you can check out more stuff if we click enter you get connected to this room list and if anybody has made any rooms a room is basically you can call it a server a room is it's something that a user creates and other clients can join it so because there aren't any rooms right now i'll create one and it will load the game scene and uh, spawn your character as, as you can see we can walk jump we can run uh, and so on and that's basically it if you want to test the uh, multiplayer so have two instances to do that you can go to uh, build settings resolution presentation and put this on windowed mode and then also a resizable window so you can make two windows make sure also that this is off and now you can build and run the game with two windows open and see how the multiplayer works also i'll show you how to navigate the package itself this is the main folder you've got all of these subfolders which correspond to their function their names it's all 
quite neatly packaged to help you explore it. If you want to change the player model, uh, the environment, there are also tutorials for that here. And that's pretty much it. All done on importing this asset. Thank you again very much for uh, choosing to use Clean Multiplayer Lite. And I'll see you in another tutorial. Have a good day.